Well, the event today is great. You know, I'm happy uh, Vietnam Mixed Martial Arts is doing great. And uh, we can see that there's a lot of potential of uh, your athletes here in Vietnam. I remember you have fought in Vietnam SEA Games? Yeah, oh, I think it's the first SEA Games here in Vietnam back in 2003. Yeah, how do you see about the change in terms of the martial arts? Yeah, there's a lot of changes, you know, uh, coming here from that time until now. Uh, I can see a uh, uh, difference, you know, a big difference. Uh, Vietnam is uh, so fast in the development, not only in sports, but uh, also in terms of economics. It's a very, very nearly is about how the MMA administration developed. Uh, yeah, I think uh, the MMA here in Vietnam is growing. Uh, you're doing great in promoting this sport. Uh, MMA in the Philippines was, you know, uh, a bit a little longer. So uh, for you here to be on that level, I think if you keep on doing this kind of activities, it will help nurture more athletes to become better. Yeah, uh, that's the thing that we see with uh, Benny. Um, it's the grappling uh, on the striking. I think uh, we are here here in Southeast Asia. We are good in our striking. We have Muay Thai, we have Wushu, we have boxing. But uh, we need more to inculcate, inculcate grappling in our skills so that we can become a complete fighter. How long does this take to a Vietnamese fighter to come to one championship? Oh, I don't know. You know, uh, Martin Nguyen is uh, a Vietnamese Australian fighter and he is very good in uh, mixed martial arts. I think uh, it just needs a time, you know. Uh, uh, it depends on how a corporate effort can be able to be done for you to be able to focus on that uh, person or on those artists that can be able to compete in the level of one. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Yeah. Time yeah. Enjoy. Thank you.